Well, folks, you don't know what kind of game this is. When why is the music different? That's because... That's because... I'm advising you all, welcome to, to part four of my 100 subs special. And of course, uh, I'm sorry for not... Yeah, I'm sorry for not doing part four in quite a while because, uh... I was getting really tired out because, uh... Because of how tired I was, and I do apologize for not uh, for not doing part four of my 100 sub special. So here we are. So which game are we playing right now? Because right now we're doing. Right now, this is the game that we're gonna be doing right now. The game for part four of my 100 sub special, we're going to be playing Rockman 6 UH, a.k.a. Unique Harassment. We came out like one and a half years ago, back in uh, the end of May of 2020, which came out with version 1.0. And right now I'm, I'm playing on 1.2, which is the latest version that I'll be doing. So, so here we go. We're ready to go in three, two, one, go. Here's the stage select screen. There's only one particular robot match that we might remember. We always remember Tomahawk Ram from Mega Man 6. This is the one that we're playing. We have some different robot masters that we're going to play against from every different Mega Man games. Like various Mega Man games, you'll play different various Robot Masters. This is not the usual Mega Man 6 Robot Masters. We only have one, which is which is only Tomahawk Man. So, uh, now the state select screen. You'll be familiar with this music. This music that from the state select screen is way similar to to Mega Man 10. Yeah, because I thought this is the first time that you guys have heard it in this video. So today, we're going to go over the robot masters from the various Mega Man games. Well, we know Tomahawk Man from Mega Man 6. We got some different robot masters that are from ver different various of Mega Man games. So first we got Tomahawk Man, we got Napalm Man from Mega Man 5, Spark Man from Mega Man 3, this time we got Chill Man from Mega Man 10, Galaxy Man from Mega Man 9, Feral Man from Mega Man 4, as well as Dust Man from Mega Man 4, and last but not least we got Jewel Man from Mega Man 9. Right now, what I'm going to start off with, I'm going to start off with Sparkman. Yeah, the stage star looks similar to Mega Man X. But there's a second. As you may know that Yeah, there are two choices cuz see you have two choices. You could even take a short if I were to take a shortcut, the it kind of skips the it skips that mini boss or, ranging from 30 to 40 seconds and then you could just go straight to the second half, but there's also an extra life you can pick up, but but now we're going to take this path cuz we're going to take the long path cuz Cause we're gonna be showing all mini bosses for the, for this game. Cause and this game is really cool. Cause this game is really, really, really cool. And this guy out there, that, that's okay. Now we go to the mini boss. This time we're facing against Commando Man from Mega Man Ten. Cause. 
Yeah, if he would have done a... See, if he would have done a high jump like that, because... You gotta jump. You gotta jump before he does a big high jump. Because it's really tough. Yeah, I never fight with Buster only, but... Ah! There we go. We just defeated Commando Man from Mega Man 10. Now we got the RNG. You might have seen this enemy before. It was like the archive, but except it doesn't do the like the archive battle thing because it shoots out the just the bullet shots. These enemies look very similar, but the charge shots look very different. But the color for the for the charging shots look very different. See? See, he was from yellow. That middle part for the charging shot was yellow. Okay, we get another RNG over there. I should have known. Ah! I missed that shot. Ooh! That part was scary. If I would have taken that risk, I would have... I would have fell and... I would have fell and lose a life on that. See? There we go. And I go to the right, you see where there's an E tank you could pick up. Now we go to the boss fight. Now we just made it to Spark Man. Oh, I should have. Yeah, it's very, it's pretty hard to dodge. It's not really easy to dodge all of his attacks at once because. Yeah, because his his special weapon for Spark Man used to be Spark Shark. Now his new weapon is the Spark Bullet. Cause one of my most favorite weapons of all in the game. Ah, I didn't jump. There we go. There he goes. When he charges, that's when he starts going powerful. Yeah, they do a lot of damage. Yeah, I can't... I can't dodge it. Yeah, even with the small shot like that, not too bad. Just... Man, it's so hard. Man, it's so hard to dodge. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm going to get uniquely harassed by this. Oh, I don't see him. <laughs> and what's very strange about this is that... What's very strange about this one is that... I'll show you when when we get into that boss fight again. Because that, I know, that first attempt didn't, didn't, didn't go successful in this one. Oh, oh, this is something you don't see that often. When the Mega Man hat, when it, it usually goes for blue, but when you're in the boss fight, the color changes to red because... But the good thing is, is that you get an infinite amount of tries. Yeah, what's the good thing about it is that you have infinite amount of tries. That... That how many attempts you would... Do in order to beat... In order to beat the boss fight, because... No matter how many attempts you would take, because... Man, I would have gotten it. Okay. Yeah, I, they do a lot of damage. Cause... Yeah. 
even when you're away, it's a little, it's a little bit easier for you. But when, <laughs> when you're, when you're that close, no, nah, it's so hard. See that? Yeah, the jump did not even respond again. No matter how many attempts it's gonna take, cause, cause whenever you're in a boss fight, you can't lose any lives. Cause if, if the hat color changes to red, if you, if you end up losing a boss fight, you don't lose any lives. That's the strange thing. Yeah, because I can pretty much get hit like almost everything, because no matter how much health I have, because... Yeah, depending on how much health I have. Yeah, I can pretty much... Yeah, because I can pretty much get hit like like almost everything. Cause... Yes, finally! Finally! Now we finally beat it. <laughs> After three attempts. Now we obtained our first one, the spark bullet and the rush jet. And the weapon get music is, is similar when you're playing with uh, Mega Man and bass, because you heard of this music, weapon get music familiar with, with uh, Mega Man and bass. Okay, I'm gonna go to Tomahawk Man stage and uh, Cause I wanna show you how Cause I wanna show you how how awesome this the spark bullet was, cause Cause as you saw that Cause this one it also speeds up your See cause whenever you're not the one thing about this is that when you're not at the boss fight, then yeah, you would lose a life, cause... And what you also have is that you also have your energy balancer, cause there's a spark bullet. Charge it up like that. It uses up your Yeah, however, it does not cost you anything when you charge it up because when firing the charge one does not cost you anything. Cause now as you can tell, we just faced against uh Magma Man from Mega Man 9, which we already took him out. See, when you do it, you fire out a small one, cause, which only takes three shots. Yeah, the rush jet thing is pretty much different from the other one. It does like this. Whoop! Like that. You may be familiar with the mystery, the mystery tank from You might be familiar with the question mark tank the, from Mega Man 3 because And we got the scissors from Got the bad scissors from 
from Mega Man 9 there. Cause if anybody's familiar with Death Enemy like that. Because to me, I've never seen this on camera ever. I'm uh, going to pick up that. Yeah, I could not even get a single E tank on this one, but. There we go. Yeah, Tomahawk Man is really hardcore on this one, because, yeah, because he's always getting me uniquely harassed, even without his weakness, even without his weakness or the secondary weakness, it's really hard. Even with the spark board, it does a tremendous job. See, not only that, because it also speeds up, Rock Man also speeds up. When using his charge spark the spark bullets there. See, with the spark bullet like that, you can pretty much take out everything. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that coming. There we go. See, he pretty much speeds up everything like a madman. See, with that spark boy, it's super easy. That charge, especially with the charged up spark boy, is really, really easy. Now we got the next one the Tomahawk Assist and Rush Power Adapter. Here's what it looks like. See, that's what Tomahawk Assist and the Rush Power. Oh, that's something you don't see that often because. Now we go to our next one, Chill Man from Mega Man 10. See, this is something you don't see. When you use rush power like that, you go and fire like this. See, when you go like this, like that, it does many sorts of damage there. See, like that. And Tomahawk Assist. Like that, because it's similar to like summoning Beat or something like that, but except they don't have Beat in this game, which is unfortunate. Man, Tomahawk is, is, is always the best secret weapon in the game. Cause... We're going to keep using Tomahawk Assist like every time when, whenever you never see a bird coming by. Cause... Yep, like that. <laughs> like that. And like that. Alright, we're gonna get the Spark Boy because we got a secret boss fight never seen before in the 8 bit version of Mega Man, or especially Rock in the Rockman series, or any other Mega Man ROM hack games. We're gonna slide down. Whoop, and look who we have here. We're facing against Tundra Man from Mega Man 11 because. This secret boss fight, the secret mini boss fight that we just faced against, we're faced against uh, Tundra Man from Mega Man 11, even though we already beat him. Yeah, Tundra Man is probably not the best, because cause he normally does not even do anything on... Because he wanted his... 
He wanted to use his speed gear, but unfortunately he can't use speed gear in Rockman 6 because that that'll make the game truly unfair. I mean, why don't they add the speed gear on Rockman 6 UAs? I mean, why can't they add that? Because I knew we had. I always never knew that they would add Tundra Man to this game because. I'm kind of surprised that uh, this is the first time you guys see me play against Tundra Man. Got to use some arc assist and I'm going to save up the spark bullet there. Okay, now we're going to go against Chill Man from Mega Man 10 because... Because those of you that don't know about Tomahawk, Tomahawk Man's weapon, his weapon is a Tomahawk assist. But... Chill man, Chill man's new weapon is the chill slip. Cause, see, he's really fast. Cause, and cause I know Chill man's weakness is the spark bullet. Yeah, we just defeated Chill man because his weakness is the spark bullet. Now we got our next weapon, the chill slip. Here's what the chill slip is. It shoots out a snowflake, but when you press down and Z, it's similar to Charge Kick. This one is similar to Charge Kick from Mega Man 5, there, because, like, this is like the good old fashioned Charge Kick, but except like, if you use a chill slip, you slide very fast. Because it makes you slide hyper fast. I mean, that is awesome. Okay, now we go to number four. Pharaoh Man from Mega Man 4. You may be familiar with this music, uh, like the music. This music is called Temple, but yeah, ah, uh, yeah, it's Temple. Yeah, this music is called Temple for a Pharaoh Man stage, because and the music from uh, Spark Man stage is Crumbling Castle. And the other music I know from Chill Man, it comes from, uh, like Mega Man. I think the music was from Mega Man X5 or Mega Man X6. Cause from Mega Man X5 or Mega Man X6. Cause I'm not sure which game it was from Chill Man. Cause right now today is, uh, Oh, today is Saturday, January 22nd, 2022. We're gonna use a spark bullet again, because... I think this one is for uh, Anchorman, because that... I mean, that's what I, what I call him. Ah. It's having a hard time. Yeah, I almost died on this one. Which, that's not good. Yeah, because if I died to the mini balls like that, I'm going to get sent all the way back to the start. Because I, on the other hand, we're gonna... Because I, on the other hand, if I've been defeated by the mini balls, I'm going to get sent all the way back to the start. Because... Yeah, it's got the the wind effects from Now 
Yeah, there's a big boulder like that, like a big rock. Think about like a big rock there. Now we get, uh, this is some kind of what you don't see that often. This is where, you see in the middle, this is where you collect all of the plates that you do there. Since my life is at maximum capacity, but if you end up getting more RNG in this one, it normally doesn't do anything, but except it, refill, it refills all of your special weapons, including your health. This includes your health bar, because whenever your life is at max, because whenever your life is, see what it is, like that. It automatically refills your health, and your special weapons. You say like if you ran out of some, if you ran out of special weapon, if you get the RNG, it resets your health bar and your special weapons. Now I'm gonna use tomahawk assist on this one because gonna use spark bullet as always. Spark was always the best weapon ever. And why? See, why would he shoot out a snake like that? Cause... Yeah, there we go. Now we're at a second phase. Every 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 boss you go has two health bars. Cause see, isn't that chill slip? Look at that. <laughs> you can he's get obliterated by get a everyone just got absolutely obliterated by that chill slip because that's his weakness. I mean, if I can, if I can move my laptop back further, cause so you can see the whole screen better. Yeah, I know many of you all can't see it, cause okay. Now we're gonna go to our next one, Jewel Man from Mega Man Nine. But I've never seen Jewel Man stage like this before. Because basically... Yeah, this is where it obviously takes you to a shortcut. Instead of the long path. This is the shortcut way to... Oh, see like that. Gonna grab that. You won't let me switch to the rush item, but once you you press the shift button as a select button, yeah, it automatically switches you out. Yeah, you can see that man riding on that, riding on that thing, which is quite silly. Now the mini boss we're facing against is a uh, Magnet Man from Mega Man Three. Cause... Yeah, it's trying to. fell into that spike there that's what happens see that's what happens if you fell into that spike that's what resulted in life that's what resulted in loss of life 
See those conveyors? They're, they're, this is not really easy to control that thing because the can even with the con very super fast conveyor belt is really hard to control. Cause yeah, cause see this thing is just really hard to control. Cause See, this is not the easiest stage in the in the game of all because this thing is this conveyor belt like this is really hard to control. Yeah, so that way I don't have to waste. There we go. Now we made it to Jewel Man because. Okay, we just eliminated him because Okay, now this one's the trickiest part. There we go. Now he's on to the second phase. Look at that. He takes massive damage to that from that feral flood cuz Now we obtain the best weapon, the Jewel Origin. One of my most favorite weapon of all, because what this Jewel Origin that you see, it shoots out a raining jewel, raining purple jewel. That it looks like it's a raining jewel. That looks, that looks awesome. Okay, now I'm going to Dust Man from Mega Man Four as well. I'm not that familiar with this type of music like that, because... See, this enemy is like a fake extra life there, because... Because you may think it's a real extra life. Well, it's not. This is the real extra life. Yeah, let's grab an XD tank over there. No, we're gonna use the Jewel Origin because we're facing against Charge Man from Mega Man 5, which we just obliterated. We just obliterate Charge Man very easy with the with the Jewel Origin because. So I'm gonna use the jet over there because see it does a yeah it normally does not fly up that much because
Okay, now we made it to Dust Man. So this this is the Jewel Origin. See, this is one of the best weapons of all. It shoots out like a rainy jewel. That, that shoots out like that. It look, see, that is awesome. Look at that. He just he just got obliterated by that jewel origin. Because normally from Mega Man 9's weapon was the jewel satellite, which is... Which is kind of like a sky blue or something like that. I think it was... No, it was blue and green mixed together. Now you're taking the dust shoe. See, that's what dust shoe like that. Because cause no matter what, if you're low on health, because if you use a dust shoe, it automatically refills your health, just like the, the safety health. Like the health refiller. Okay, now we go to our next one. Napalm Man. We only got two Robot Masters left to go. And two more mini bosses. Now the next one we're facing against uh Skull Man from Mega Man 4. Cause, Cause now this one only takes like two damage. Oh that spark weapon is that spark bullet weapon is so good. Oh, that spark weapon is so good. Looks like we're in, uh, maybe familiar with this one. It looks, uh, feels like that we're in a ghost house. It's like this thing is this thing looks like magic. It looks just like a ghost house from Super Mario World. I mean how how odd is that? I mean that's just so odd uh, how you get to be in a ghost house like that. Why would Napalm man might be in a ghost house. I have no idea. Which really doesn't make any sense. Okay, now we got the... Uh... This book just prevented him from using his napalm cracker. Come on, I just gotta... Now we obtained the, the seventh one, the napalm cracker. I don't know why they, they spell napalm wrong. They put napalm in, instead of napalm. I mean... I mean, I don't even hear a special weapon called Napalm Cracker. <laughs> I mean, really, I don't even hear that special weapon called Napalm Cracker. It's Napalm Cracker, not Napalm. <laughs> Man, not to be honest, that that spells it wrong. to crazy. Okay, now we got one more robot master left to go because. We got, we're going back to the one from Mega Man 9. Yeah, we got one more Robot Master attack one from Mega Man 9, Galaxy Man.
And he's uh, supposed to be off. And there's those bricks. We're gonna go up this path there. Hey, we got more E tanks. Now we're facing against uh, Flashman from uh, Mega Man 2. Cause now you can tell the last mini boss fight of the game. We're facing against uh, Flashman. Yeah, we just faced against Flashman from Mega Man 2 and we just took him out. Alright, get that RNG to refill all these weapons, including health bars. See, this one's the most dangerous part, cause... Go to the Tomahawk Assist. See if I can get in with the Spark Boy, cause if not, we can just... I don't know why he's using that ring, like, using Ringman's weapon. There we go, we just... Yeah, his weapon is the Galaxy Vision. See, Galaxy Man's weapon is the Galaxy Vision. From the previous one for Mega Man 9, his was the Black Hole Bomb. And Jewel Man's weapon was the Jewel Satellite. Cause... So here we are, we got the Galaxy Vision. It tremendously summons like the clone like this, and then you press the, the fire button again, it goes whoop! It releases it. There you go, we got the Mr. X part. <laughs> yeah, these paths are, those path arrangements are different.
Yeah, plus the stages are sometimes a lot harder. This one you might want to dodge all of these balls before... Yeah, I want to go to the bottom path, because... Because what I even found out for myself, because I found... I found a secret path. See, like that. There's, you go to the, the secret path, and this is where you see your... Your next E tank. That's where I find my fifth E tank. Gotta get my RNG to refill it. Cause you may be familiar with this enemy from Mega Man 10 is Oh, I just got another RNG, but it's already refilled. Cause I already used up the RNG already. If I can, if I can get this enemy to. Yeah, it's really hard to control with the jet. Cause, cause your invincibility is gonna last even longer than that instead of a short one. Cause. Okay, I'm gonna use the, the Jewel Origin for, for this boss fight. Yeah, it looks like we're playing soccer today. Cause... And we're already at the second phase. Cause... Yeah, this is where he drop, drops down the balls when. Throws down the big ball when. And he can put you to sleep too. And that's not a good part. That's not a good part to be put in sleep. Yeah, this is the underwater part where you don't see that often because when, because whenever you're underwater. You're, you're gonna lose. Here's the sad part of his health, there, because when if, even if you're underwater, because whenever you go underwater and if you're under, if you stay underwater for a very long time, for like, for like every every few seconds, if you're if you don't leave underwater, you will lose health, which is the sad part. That's the sad part, because. You gotta get your energy refills up and ready, cause so your health doesn't go all the way down to zero. And there you go. Geez, that spark bullet and
Yeah, because I may need more RNGs or something like that. Or the health refiller. This one is the worst part, because... This is the, this is the closet capsule, which is, it's not a real one. This one's a fake one. Yeah, this one is, it is like a man <laughs> trying to do everything to try to beat me down, but no, nope, I'm not letting that happen. Because you remember the last time we faced a real cause like that, we just obliterated him from Mega Man 4? This one, why we build a fake one. Which is not cool with him. We made it there. Yeah, this is where the wind blows you. Gonna refill, refill everything. Yeah, sometimes I don't even like why, like, like stage three of Mr. X, cause, cause that thing used to be worse. When even I have trouble, whenever the first time I play, I, I even though I have trouble beating this, cause. We're gonna make this game 100% gameplay because it's 100% playthrough. And we got the RNG, sweet. And this is where this air boat automatically moves there. Yeah, I gotta be very careful with that jet to grab our seventh E tank. Now I'm gonna use a feral flood because. We're jumping into the very rare game you've never seen before. Cause... Yeah, because his weakness is uh, Feral Floyd, because Feral Floyd was his weakness.
Yeah, because see what happened was on the Feral Flood, you were placed on a... T Whenever you use Feral Flood, and even if you don't fire a single shot, you were placed on a timer. Which is... Because even if you don't... If you don't turn it off, like, every second, you'll lose... You'll lose one weapon health bar for every second if you don't turn off the Feral Flood. All right, we're on to Ms. X stage four. It's not pretty easy, because this stage is not very easy, because this one, you got a lot of spikes. And that makes it a lot harder, but with, not not without the, without the jet, because not without the jet, because you can simply just take a shortcut and where you, where you don't have to worry about the spikes after all. There we go. Come on, folks. Sorry about that, guys. I'm back. <clears throat> Just made it all the way to the top. Yeah, just grab the RNG if you can. There we go. Yeah, this is where you had to jump all all day long. Especially with the jet. Especially if I'm in jet mode like this. There we go. Here we got the Mr. X capsule. This is something you don't see that often. Just like the Wily Capsule. It's unlike the Wily Capsule, but this one is a different type of capsule. This one's from Mr. X. Which I don't I don't ever see Mr. X in a capsule like this. Man, I was gonna get him for by a chill slip, but that didn't do a thing, because... There we go, now he's going to the second phase, because... Yeah, because I got a secondary weakness, which is the uh, jewel origin, because... Although his main weakness was the chill slip, but uh, I'm afraid it's, n it's not going to work out, but I had to use his secondary weakness, the jewel origin. Ah, I knew it was Wiley again. I knew it was him again. That music sounds interesting for the Wiley map. And this music is a lot more interesting. You may be familiar with this music from Wiley Stage 2 from Mega Man 8. So... 
Because I like it when it's much smoother like this. Yeah, because this is the one where I get uniquely harassed. Yeah, and this is also the stage where I'm going to get uniquely harassed the most. Because this, the boss fight when we get to it, it's going to be the worst. This is going to be the worst boss fight whenever I get in there. This one, you have to avoid touching these spikes. If you end up touching those spikes, that's instant death. Yeah, I just want to get a damage boost there, because... Yeah, see, that enemy was not, that is not the real X Drive, it's a fake one. Yeah, if you see an X Drive that contains enemies in it, it's, it's, it's strongly advised to do not take an unnecessary risk. It's strongly advised you to not take an unnecessary risk. It's strongly recommend that you do not take take an unnecessary risks. There we go. There he comes with our next E tank. Gonna reset our health bars. Wow, our E tank's at max already. Wow. Thanks to Eddie's help. I strongly advise you to not go with Spark Boy because you don't want to take any unnecessary risk on this boss because because the the Devil Square boss's weakness is the Tomahawk Assist because that's his main weakness. Well, this is it. This music you may be familiar with the uh, Game Boy version of Rockman World 5's uh, boss battle. Yeah, it's strongly advised you do not take an unnecessary risks. There you go. Made it to the second phase. This is the scary part, because... Yeah, this, the next phase we do is scary. This is scary. See, this face is scary. Ooh. Ooh. See, if you fell all the way down, the top you have. See, you have a 
You have so many gauges left, depending on how much. Whew. Luckily, I beat it on the first try. Man, that part was scary. That boss fight is so scary. I could have lost a life on this one, and I would have had to start all over again. See, here's the trick. If you want to start over, because if you want to start over, like exit or something like that, well, there's no way to exit because you cannot exit the Wily stages when you're in that in the middle of that. Because you got to go to the E tank where you hold down select and start. Because obviously, if you want to start over, because this may be useful for Wily One in case if you're if you're having trouble beating. Just in case if you're having trouble beating why we won, you just, just, you simply go to the E tank and hold down select and start all together to start why we won all over. Yeah, this one's the worst part, because... Never fight this one, Buster only, because... Yeah, which only takes a while, because... So you like that. See, this is the kind of sniper drill that you don't see. Because I've never seen that type of sniper drill like that. That, that may be from Mega Man 9. Cause... Right there it is. We're facing against a uh, break man who was having this mini boss fight we're going up against. I believe it was like break man because I never. Yeah, with the proto seal like that, it was. There you go. Yeah, Breakman's weakness is the galaxy vision. Yeah, you do not want to go on to that. I strongly advise you do not take those unnecessary risks. There's the bad part. When whenever you get frozen like that, it, that's gonna make it worse. That seriously makes it worse. Cause then on freeze is even worse. There you go.
And thanks our support already for the help. Ah. We're getting there. This is the next hard boss fight. Yeah, and these ones are just... A mess on a, on a rocket skate? I've never seen that type of... I mean, I never see that. There we go. Now moving on to Wily Three. Yeah, the music from Wiley 3, you may be familiar with this music from Mega Man X1 from uh, Sigma. Maybe familiar with the stage from, from the Sigma stage from Mega Man X1 from Sigma Stage 3 from, from X1. Because you may be familiar with this music from... From Mega Man X1 from Sigma Stage 3. I mean, I've, I've never I never played against Sigma like this because There you go. There's another trick you could do because Yeah, cause uh his Tomahawk Man's weakness is the galaxy vision cause And I just ran out, which is not good. I could just use Spark Boy, because since I just ran out of Galaxy Vision, I'm gonna. Since I don't have enough, because. Yeah, since I don't have enough uh, Galaxy Vision, because I just ran out. 
Very disappointing. Very, very disappointing that I don't have enough of the... I don't have enough galaxy vision. Now here we go against Chill Man. This is the refight because... Okay, now we got Dustman. His weakness is the jewel origin. Oh my god, that jewel origin was... Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, you can also use a jewel origin to prevent him from... from transforming into something that is fake. <laughs> You're not gonna fake me. You're not gonna fake me, dust man. <laughs> okay, now we got Sparkman where I found his weakness, the Tomahawk Assist. Yeah, the Tom Hawkins, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, we can use that to prevent... Yeah, I can use that Tom Hawkins says, to prevent him from, from sending out his the Mega Man clones. <laughs> Red done the... <laughs> okay. Okay, what's next? Oh, Fair Man. You're not gonna let that snake get me. Okay, now we got. Now I'm gonna do the chill slip. Cause, cause that's his usual weakness. Cause, yeah, cause that chill slip makes you be invincible. Increases your invincibility for a short time. Cause. Now we got Galaxy Man last. I think we're going to use the Jewel Origin there. And there we go. Yeah, we, we made a Galaxy Vision black hole bomb, which is which is a hundred percent not happening. Oh, 
Ó. Yeah, you're gonna have a one for you gotta stay in that thing. You gotta stay in that position. Okay, now we're into the second phase. This is where he fires out that fire. He's using that quick boomerang, which is... Ah. There we go. We're not done yet. We got the final one coming up. You may be familiar with this music from Zero Two. Yeah, depending on how much damage they do. Cause Yeah, I gotta use the chill slip because in order, in order to go faster. I think it's from Mega Man Zero. I think this music is from Mega Man Zero. I believe it was. Yeah, we're gonna go pick things up. What do we call the W Fuel? This is something that kind of weapon call called the W Fuel. He uses a weapon tank. That's called a weapon fuel. See, whenever you use E tanks or extra or extra lives there, because E tank does the same thing with the extra lives. Here we go for the final boss. Yeah, he's trying to put me to sleep, which is not happening. And there you go. Refill everything. Now we're gonna switch to the Feral Flood. This one is in three phases. That's the second phase. Okay, now I'm gonna switch over to Spark Boy. Yeah, this is the third and final phase. And why is why we get that air shooter from? Why he stole that air shooter from Air Man? He must have stolen it from his own creations all along. And there you go. Well, there you have it. That's Rockman 6 UH. I mean, that's what Dr. Wiley gets. That's what Dr. Wiley gets.
And yep, the ending screams. Yeah, the ending credit looks just, just like the stage select screen from Mega Man 9. Now let's watch it, shall we? And we'll let Masses too, from various games. Well, there you have it. That's Rockman 6 UH, always known as Unique Harassment, so. I don't know what people are going to tell you. They're going to tell me, good luck, Chris. Don't get uniquely harassed. <laughs> which, which I almost did on <laughs> on uh, Wiley 1. <laughs> Luckily, I did not get uniquely harassed. But the only, the only stage I got uniquely harassed was on... Uh, I got uniquely harassed like not once but twice on uh on Sparkman stage. Which is <laughs> it's kinda sad. <laughs> yeah, it's kinda sad. Uh, I would have got him like in the first try. If I would have got him in the first try, the video would have been shorter than that, but which obviously we didn't because 
just got uniquely harassed not once but twice on Sparkman stage. It's so unfortunate that I didn't get him on the first try. Because <laughs> I thought my buster shot would would have been good enough, but unfortunately, it, it took me like two or three attempts to beat uh to be Sparkman. <laughs> Yeah, uh, plus I still don't lose any lives when, when you're in a boss fight. I wonder why. It's It looks very weird. Because I know that gameplay looks actually kind of weird. But anyways, hope you enjoyed Rockman 6 UH plus the, the 100 sub special on for the 4th part. I will catch you all for part 5 coming soon.